Hi everyone, so I would love to talk about the New Me Professional Styling Iron and this is from the Couture Collection. And they have different ones, they have vintage, mini, and other ones as well. And you can pick your particular color you want. I have selected purple. The Couture Styling Iron does come in red, black, and purple. So obviously I have purple and it's got some silver sparkles in there. It's really beautiful um, flat iron. And it is an inch and a third quarters. And it's got a temperature setting right here, just a plastic temperature setting. It goes up to 410 degrees and it has an on and off switch. Now, as somebody who has used various uh, styling tools in the past, um, high end and low end, I will state for the record that I can only recommend a higher end or professional grade styling iron because um, ones that you can get at Walmart or drugstores generally will flat iron your hair um, not as well as the professional grade ones. Generally speaking, they do not have um, temperature setting controls, so not only will your hair not be as sleek, it won't get to the level of flat. Um, or straightened uh, or even curled looks that you want. Same thing with blow dryers for that matter. I am somebody who has a cosmetology uh, license and has worked with a various amount of styling tools. So I will state for the record that I would never uh, agree to recommend a product or agree to review a product if I didn't 100% agree with the particular product. Now I will say that this product was sent to me for review and I agreed to review it after reviewing their website and finding out that they are a cruelty free website. They sell various products online along with their professional styling tools such as synthetic feather hair extensions in a variety of colors. 100% um, human hair extensions and Aragon oil uh, styling tools. Sorry, styling serums and whatnot. So their products are cruelty free, which not only goes with my aesthetic, but they also have this very fun kind of edgy uh, cuts and looks on their website, which definitely goes with my whole entire um, look and philosophy when it comes to style. Now this tool, like I said, has a um, has the dial and an inch and three quarter um, plates that are infused um, with their with tourmaline. And it is a pro-grade professional styling tool. It's going to help you achieve a very professional um, look when, um, when you're done styling your hair. And of course, um, that also comes with technique, and I will have a tutorial um, in this review as well, so you can achieve you know, a nice sort of glossy, professional-grade looking look. And um, these particular plates have ceramic ion technology that generates infrared heat with crushed tourmaline crystals and 600... Um, more negative ions um, to create just lovely luscious locks. So this really does help generate a more glossy look and I love it. Before this I've used um, Bedhead, I've used Chi, um, I've used Secrets um, and various ones that you can also get at Sally's and this is probably one of the nicest styling tools I've ever had. Now if I could recommend one styling tool for anybody, it is a flat iron because not only will it flat iron your hair, it'll also curl your hair, flip your hair, so um, if you're looking for something that has this sort of multiple uh, usage, um, a flat iron is definitely going to give you that and I'm going to try to infuse that uh, also in the tutorial portion as best I can because I don't have really long hair it's not going to look super amazing but you'll definitely see how to get that because it's all in the wrist. Um, I do have a cosmetology license once again and I've gotten the chance to try a few different styling tools and this once again is one of the nicest tools I've ever had the pleasure of receiving. I definitely recommend this product not only is it willing to um, stand up on its own because it's offering a five-year warranty to anyone who purchases this. You just have to register your tool online and there's um so your tool is set. It's ready for you and if you don't like your tool for whatever reason you can return it. Something happens to your tool you have your five-year warranty so it's it's great because it's really willing to justify itself. So now that we've covered some um, things about this wonderful styling iron we'll just move on to the tutorials so you can see how this iron works. Alright, so to get started on the tutorial, you're definitely going to want to make a selection of hair. Um, I'm just using this Velcro piece. 
you can get this at any craft store. It doesn't have to be from eBay. Mine is from eBay, but um, it is literally Velcro. So take whatever clamp hair Velcro piece you want. You're going to select a small portion of hair to start uh, flat ironing using the Numi Couture, which is a inch and a three-quarter barrel. Looks like this. Your settings are right here underneath the handle. You can see that little wheel. I'll try to get pictures in because it's really hard to get in underneath the handle. And you can see an on and off switch right in through here as well. So I'm going to select this portion of hair right here. You want a smaller section of hair. That way it, um, it reforms whatever look, curl, style, flip out, straightening look you want and it does it evenly without um, frying your hair. So it's going to give you the minimal amount of damage. So what you're going to want to do is, create, is definitely pull that aside and to straighten it you're going to want to go from the root and slowly go down the shaft of the hair to the end to create a straightening effect. Oops, I accidentally flipped that out. All you have to do is flick your wrist to get it back in. Now, if you want to curl your hair, what I really like about flat irons is that it's a multiple use product. If you can only afford one type of uh, product that will reform or restyle your hair in any way, it would be a flat iron because not only does it flat iron your hair, it's also going to help curl your hair. Now, in order to curl your hair, and I'm not going to create a very good look with this because of my haircut. But if you want to curl your hair, what you can do is take a small section of hair, once again, go from the root, go all the way down the shaft to smooth it out, go down the root, or sorry, go down the shaft to the end of the hair, make sure you're at the very end of the hair as best you can so you don't get a fish hook, and then just curl it up so that you have a hair curl. You can see that curl um, as best as I can create a curl. So. Now in order to pull it straight again, I'm just going to hold the end of the hair as long as I can and just pull down the hair. Now if I want to flip it in a little bit, which I'm going to have to do because of just how many times I've form reformed and formed my hair, I'm just going to take it from the root. You can see I'm already kind of curling it in a little bit. That's going to give me a little bump right by the root for a little bit of added volume. Now if you don't want that little bump by the root for added volume, you could just go down it as straight as you can. You can also flip out your hair and it's all on the wrist. You're just going to go down from the root through the shaft to the end of your hair, flipping your wrist out and you have a little flip which is cute if you have very piecey layered hair. Not so cute with my haircut. and just try to re-straighten that piece back out. So what I'm going to continue to do to get that more salon perfect style that you have when you're walking out and you're all professionally styled and your hair looks so beautiful and glossy is to take your hair section by section, like so, going from root and slowly go down the shaft so that it reforms its texture to whatever it is that you want. So it almost looks like you were born with this sort of pitch perfect straight hair. Just grabbing a little bit at a time. Grabbing a little bit at a time and going slowly creates the lesser amount of thermal damage to your hair. It's easy to get reckless and careless when you're in a hurry, but if you're in a hurry, my suggestion would be just to do um, the outer layer of your hair versus trying to get every little last chunk really quickly because it could mean the difference between having to get a lot of your hair cut all the way off at the end of the month. If you fry it, it just has to go. It's dead. It has to be cut. So you just want to give your hair the most longevity really slowly. I've watched many uh, reality TV shows and TV shows where they're just kind of quickly flat ironing their own hair and creating a m massive amount of damage. 
I also recommend getting a flat iron with a thermal uh, change on it as well, the thermal dial, so you can control the temperature and fry your hair less. Sometimes when you're buying the more inexpensive flat irons that don't have these settings on them that have really, either they have really thick blades or they have really loose blades or interchangeable blades, it can be just a hot mess to deal with because when you're buying thermal flat irons that are like that, you're just more likely to burn your hair up um, and cut out the lifespan. Um, so I personally do not recommend uh, an inexpensive flat iron uh, whatsoever before I got the new me. I had a Secrets one, which is just a very moderately priced one, uh, but still a lot better than using a $20 one without this thermal temperature setting. Because they don't heat up very much, you do spend a lot more time trying to lock your hair into place, and then uh, you end up creating more thermal damage with just really, really, really trying to give it your all, and it's not really ever going to get there because of the type of product you're using. So just going to keep going in and as the smaller pieces that you get into you're just going to flat iron them the way you would if they were longer pieces by giving them the same care, caress, and consideration. So, as you can see, I don't have like a ton of hair, but I, my hair is very thick. So I do have to spend a little bit of time going through each uh, layer of weight to give it what I want. Just a nice, very flat, ironed look to get the texture I like. And I'm doing this all without the aid of styling products so that you can see what this flat iron can really do for your hair. Even when you're going into tinier pieces, which can be hard with uh, shorter hair, it's still possible. By getting the flat iron as close as you can to your scalp without burning yourself and pulling away. My hands and head have a certain level of tolerance of heat just from because I did go to hair school and stuff like that and I've worked with flat irons so if you can't tolerate your hands being anywhere this close to the flat iron I wouldn't go there unless you can get like a thermal heat glove which you can buy online or you can just go to Sally's or wherever you want to go to get the proper equipment you need to create your lovely lovely style so just kind of showing you that you can go into shorter texturized pieces. The hardest piece to style would of course be your like faux sideburn because it's right near the ear. Probably just kind of let that be just in case. So you can see that it really does the job and um, it's a great quality flat iron. You don't see any frizz in my hair. I do have like a very rough sort of curly texture. So for it to be this smooth looking is really, uh, you could definitely see that it's a very great flat iron. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed my review of the Numi Flat Iron in Couture, and I hope that you look forward to getting one. I think it's a great product. They swear by it, I swear by it. So thank you for watching my review.